Hi, I'm Sugar, and you're watching another episode of Cooking with Sugar TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make my delicious chicken corn chowder. Everyone in my family loves it, and it's super simple to make. So if you have to go to work all day and you want to have a hot dinner on the table when everyone gets home, this is the perfect meal for you. And this also goes out to my friends Emily, Taylor, and Livy. This is the perfect dish for young chefs to make. So all my little songbirds out there, I want you to try this one. Now, I don't want to hear from all of you that there's too many ingredients in this because there are a lot of ingredients, but they all get tossed into the crock pot and it cooks all day. So the crock pot does all the work for you. And when you think about it, it's a whole meal in a bowl. And at the end, we're gonna to top it off with some crumbly bacon and it's so, so good. Okay, so in this dish, we're gonna add about six skinless, boneless chicken thighs. I have a couple of cups of corn, and I'm just using frozen corn, a chopped onion, a small can of green chilies, um, some cream cheese, a little bit of butter, a little sprinkle of sugar, and then I have a couple of sliced uh, celery, carrots, and then in here I have um, my leeks. And I have two or three russet potatoes, you know, the red, I'm sorry, the uh, red potatoes, and my chicken stock and some sherry wine. We're also gonna add some milk, and at the end, some heavy cream. But we're, we're gonna add all of this right now. Before I get started, I just wanna talk about leeks. I love to use leeks, and if you've never seen a leek, this is what a leek looks like. And I love to use them in soups and stews. They're just delicious, and they give everything such a really great flavor. Um, if you've never used one before, the best way to clean it is to slice it like you would a carrot. And then what I like to do is I like to put it in a large bowl after it's sliced with some water. And what happens is all the dirt and the sand will fall to the bottom and the leeks will float at the top and they'll be nice and clean so then you can use them after they're rinsed because they are pretty sandy, but they really, really are worth using because they give everything so much flavor. So we're gonna start off by putting our chicken in. And what I did was I just sprayed my crock pot with a little bit of cooking spray, just so everything doesn't stick. And then I'm just gonna toss it in and it doesn't have to be in any order. You can just put all your vegetables in. You know, just spread it in at the bottom there. My carrots, celery. Got my onions, corn. Can't have a corn chowder without corn. And then these are mild chilies. If you want to spice it up a little bit more, you could certainly use hot chilies. My leeks. A little bit of sugar. Pepper. Salt. And actually, before you put the chicken in there, you can salt and pepper that. About two cups of chicken broth. And then I'm using two cups of milk. And if you wanted to make this recipe lean, then I would say leave out the cream cheese and add extra chicken broth. And then I'm gonna put about a cup of wine. And this is sherry wine, because the sherry is real sweet. And if you don't like to cook with wine, you can use applesauce or, I mean, I'm sorry, apple juice or just extra chicken stock. And then I'm gonna put in my butter. It's about two, three tablespoons of butter. And then this is just one stick of cream cheese. I'm just gonna give this a little mix. And I'm gonna cover that. Turn it on and let it cook. So I got home about an hour ago and my soup was cooking for about three hours. When I first got home, I gave it a little stir, put a little more salt and pepper because it's gonna need a good dose of salt and pepper and we're just gonna take a look at it and see what it looks like.
Now the last finishing touch I like to put on this is some cooked bacon, so just some crumbled bacon. And this is optional, but it just makes it so great. And a little fresh parsley. And now I'm gonna give it a taste. Mmm, you can taste the sherry wine. And the chicken is moist and soft. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I promise you that if you make this for your family, everyone's gonna love it. Huh. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and make sure you check out my website at cookingwithsugar.com. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> oh, it came out so good. Oh, it's just amazing. Mm. It's like heaven in a bowl.